Hey everybody, Michael Rosso, Film Photography Podcast. And today, a little bit change of pace, we're going to be talking about home movies shot on film. And today's treat is, wow, 1948 Rockaway, New York. If you check your mom, your dad's, your grandfather, your grandmother's, an aunt, family member, there's a good chance you'll find a box of these. Back in the day before video or your phone, you had to take movies on a film camera. And we're talking way back. We're talking the 1940s here. And back in the day, this is just one example of many, many cameras. This is a Revere. Kodak also made cameras like this. And there were different types that produced regular 8 millimeter movies. This is the Crank. On here is a beautiful little lens. It has F-stops on it. And on the side was a little chart that tells you what f-stop to set. Bright sun, weak, hazy sun, open shade, overcast, or deep shade. Pretty cool. When you opened up the side, there's a little cartridge, which many people, like John Fideli, says, oh my God, that's 16 millimeter. And back in the day, yes, it took a 25-foot roll of 16 millimeter uh, film uh, but it was special film. It's called Double Eight. And it's this very special 25 feet that is 16 millimeter, but designed specifically for these types of cameras. And you would shoot 25 feet, and then you take the cartridge and flip it, and then shoot the other side. And then you would send it away for processing, and the photo finisher would process your film, and then slit the film, and then splice it together, so that you would have, because we're, gonna, we're actually going to take a look at what's on this. I had this transferred. As you can see, I had some notes on here. Warped and brittle. People put their home movies, for whatever reason, in the attic where it's, it bakes year after year. Or in the, in the garage. Or in the basement where it's moist and gets moldy. So this film, I'm guessing, was in an attic. Uh, the leader... We used to be white, now it's yellow. And as you take the film off the reel, it's very, very brittle. When I actually saw what was on this film, uh, you'll notice in the top of the film, there was actually a squiggly little line. And that little line is a hair. So when someone was shooting their film, somehow they got a hair in their film gate. So that when they shot their film, the hair, that's what you're seeing. You're seeing someone's hair. And later on in the roll, it'll disappear. That means they probably flipped the roll. And then the hair went away. I love that story, by the way. Th <laughs> Thank you. Now, this film is what's called cupped. Cupped. As you can see, you see how it's not flat anymore? Can you see that? Do you see how it's kind of... So when you're looking at the footage, you'll notice that it's sharp as heck in one area, but the rest of the, the footage is kind of out of focus. You'll also notice that uh, there are breaks. There are, like, tears. That's because this film broke while it was being transferred. This was transferred in what's known as the Retro 8 telecine device, in which the device takes one frame at a time, and then when the roll is over, the computer knits it together into one file. Pretty cool, right? Back in the day, your family would uh, load this into a projector and project this against a wall or against a screen or a sheet. And also back in the day, you would go to Sam Goody or some record store, and they would sell albums of music designed for home movies. So a creative mom or dad would sometimes edit together like a soundtrack for their home movies. Now, I edited this together on a computer, so I added the full effect of the projector sound for your enjoyment as well as some music and, where necessary, some sound effects. Uh, before we show you the movie, uh, one quick scene. John Fideli and I were joking around about this. This is a scene in the movie where you see children on the beach smoking. And, 
And before you like uh, report this video to YouTube, uh, the back in the day, and John Fideli tells me today as well, you used to be able to buy candy cigarettes. As you saw in the beginning of the movie, all the adults are like hanging out on the porch and they're drinking and smoking. <laughs> and then later on, when on the beach, the kids, I guess, you know, are mimicking the adults and they have their candy cigarettes, you know, and they're hanging out, you know, be, being cool because everyone knows that cigarettes make you cool. <laughs> Let's check out the movie. Uh, my name is Michael Russell, Film Photography Podcast. You can write to me, Michael, at filmphotographyproject.com. Let's, let's have a picture show.